Greetings, OAA's Manager Internal Control Participants. Welcome to OAA's MICP Annual Statement of Assurance Preparation Workshop number two for Reporting Cycle FY19. My name is Yafet Brooks. I am the Internal Control Administrator for OAA. Ms. Janae Jennings is the OIP Program Manager and my alternate for MICP. Here's today's briefing agenda. This briefing is designed to assist accessible units with completing the Annual Statement of Assurance, ASOA, and its associated appendices, as well as explain changes in the Fiscal Year 19 ASOA format. Please review the remaining requirements for the Fiscal Year 19 reporting period. As noted, the ASOA is the last formal requirement of the Fiscal Year 19 MICP reporting period. The ASOA is required by the Federal Manager's Financial Integrity Act, OMB Circular A-123, and DODI 501040. This guidance requires federal agencies to establish internal controls, to evaluate controls annually, and to submit to Congress and the President a public statement on the adequacy of controls, annual statement of assurance. A-123 requires federal agencies to integrate a risk-based approach toward meeting strategic, operations, reporting, and compliance objectives. In 2016, the circular was updated to include enterprise risk management. In 2018, it expanded the scope from internal controls over financial reporting to include internal controls over all reporting. This year, ASA FMNC has implemented several changes to the Annual Statement of Assurance. The changes include labeling and sequences of appendices and the format changes for certain templates. Appendix A, Risk Profile Risk Assessment. In FY18, the ASOA Risk Assessment was Appendix E and was submitted with your ASOA. In FY19, your Risk Assessment was completed prior to developing your ICEP. This aligned more with the guidance provided by OMB Circular A123. Appendix B, the Internal Control Evaluation, is new format. This is a new requirement for accessible units. This year, your organization submitted this requirement as part of your DA Form 11-2 evaluations. Appendix C, significant deficiencies or material weaknesses and corrective action plans. This requirement is not applicable at the AUM level. This requirement will be addressed at the OAA ICA level based on the results of the DA Form 11-2 evaluation submitted. Appendix D, Reportable Anti-Deficiency Act Violation Template. Again, this requirement will be addressed at the OAA ICA level based on the results of the DA Form 11-2 evaluation submitted. Appendix E, Significant Manager's Internal Control Program Accomplishments. The FY19 template is slightly different from FY18. This year, your organization will submit Appendix E as part of your feeder statement. Appendix F, Manager's Internal Control Program Training Report. This requirement will be addressed at the OAA ICA level. Appendix G, Correction Action Plan Validation. This requirement pertains to external audits over the Army Working Capital Fund and General Fund. This requirement will be addressed at the OAA ICA level. In essence, your organization's feeder statement will consist of the ASOA Annual Statement Insurance Memorandum Template and Appendix E Significant Manager's Internal Control Program Accomplishments. That being said, Executive Directors and AUMs from Headquarters, AHS, and CMH will sign a assurance statement memorandum verifying that internal controls are in place and operating effectively. To recap, all executive towers will submit an assurance statement memorandum signed by the SRO. We will discuss the format of the ASOA assurance statement memorandum. Each organization's cover memo will reflect three explicit statements, which will come in three different forms of assurance. The three explicit statements are operations, which will include financial operations, business operations, and tactical operations, reporting, which pertains to the outputs of such operations, and compliance, reflects the laws, regulation, and policies to ensure Army is in compliance. 
unmodified statement of assurance, reasonable assurance that internal controls are in place and operating effectively. Modified statement of assurance, the organization has reasonable assurance with the exception of a material weakness identified in the report. Statement of no assurance. Organization cannot provide reasonable assurance that internal controls are in place and operating effectively. Please watch the step-by-step -step instructions provided by ASA, FM, and C. The annual Statement of Assurance feeder package begins with the Assurance Memorandum. In prior years, this document was titled Appendix A. However, for fiscal year 2019 and beyond, this memo will be the cover page for the reporting organization's feeder package submission. The document on your screen is the blank fiscal year 2019 assurance memorandum template, which is available on the manager's internal control program website. Let's dive in. Each reporting organization will edit the template and complete with their applicable information. In this completed example, we've adjusted the template to show the reporting organization as the Office of the Assistant Secretary of the Army Financial Management and Comptroller, or ASA FMNC. Each reporting organization will use their own letterhead on the assurance memorandum. The subject line of the memo template must be updated for the proper fiscal year. The first paragraph of the memo evidences the head of the reporting organization's acknowledgement of responsibility for internal controls. The head of the reporting organization is the commander or equivalent who signs the reporting organization's annual statement of assurance package for submission to the manager's internal control program administrator, ASA FMNC. Based on the results of a risk assessment and the internal controls testing, the head of the reporting organization can conclude an overall opinion on reporting operations and compliance control operating effectiveness. This opinion will be one of the following. First, unmodified, which means that there are no material weaknesses or lack of compliance. Second, modified, which means that one or more material weaknesses were identified or that there were significant control testing failures, which led to a lack of compliance. Or third, no statement of assurance, which means that there are multiple material weaknesses impacting the operating effectiveness on controls, or there is a lack of internal controls existing in the reporting organization's environment. The second paragraph of the memo evidences the reporting organization's opinion on the operating effectiveness of internal controls over operations. Here, the reporting organization will assert an unmodified, modified, or no statement of assurance specific to controls over operations, using the definitions mentioned earlier. Operations controls are typically controls that mitigate risks in executing the reporting organization's mission. The page number reference refers to the page in Appendix B where the reporting organization evidences their assessment of controls. This is explained in the Appendix B instructional video. The third paragraph of the memo evidences the reporting organization's opinion on the operating effectiveness of internal controls over reporting. Here, the reporting organization will assert an unmodified, modified, or no statement of assurance specific to reporting controls using the definitions mentioned earlier. Reporting controls are typically controls that mitigate risks related to budget execution and financial statement reporting. The page number references the page in Appendix B where the reporting organization evidences their assessment of controls. This is explained in the Appendix B instructional video. The fourth paragraph of the memo evidences the reporting organization's opinion on the operating effectiveness of internal controls over compliance. Here, the reporting organization will assert an unmodified, 
modified, or no statement of assurance specific to compliance controls using the definitions mentioned earlier. Compliance controls are those that mitigate risk of lack of compliance with laws and regulations, including financial management systems as required by the Federal Financial Management Improvement Act, or FFMIA. The page number reference refers to the page in Appendix B where the reporting organization evidences their assessment of controls. This is explained in the Appendix B instructional video. The final paragraph lists the designated point of contact for the reporting organization for the Statement of Assurance. In this case, the point of contact for ASA FMNC is Domenico Rossi, Director of Management and Control. All reporting organizations will complete this memo. Please contact the Army Manager's Internal Control Program team with questions or concerns completing this piece of the feeder package. Next, we will cover Organizational Accomplishments, Appendix E. Your accomplishments should be the most significant internal control program and related accomplishments achieved during the previous 12 months. This brief summary may be selected for reporting in the Army's ASOA. Your accomplishment should include the following elements to substantiate the merits of the accomplishment. Measurable, you must have data or metrics to support your accomplishment. And Big Army, therefore it must impact Army-wide, or it's a new or significant change in a program. If your accomplishment meets the first two requirements, it does not have to be a new or significant change in the program. Here is an example of a good MICP accomplishment. The red arrows indicate the big Army and measurable requirements. On this slide, we provided an example SPD accomplishment in the Appendix E format. Appendix E has seven columns that your organization must complete. Reporting organization, your accessible unit. Internal control reporting category. They are listed in the dropdown. The definitions are provided. Applicable key process. Also choose a selection from the dropdown. Description of issue the title of your issue, related to a previously identified material weakness, yes or no, accomplishment, dollars saved. When submitting your Appendix E of your feeder statement, please ensure that your organization uses this format. Please watch the step-by-step -step instructions provided by ASA, FM, and C. The FY19 Manager's Internal Control Program Accomplishments Appendix has matured since FY18, where the top five program accomplishments were previously recorded in Appendix C. The reporting organizations will highlight significant accomplishments achieved in their MICP since the submission of the prior year Statement of Assurance feeder package. These accomplishments are specific to MICP and help the Army improve effectiveness and efficiency of operations, the reliability of reporting, and compliance with applicable laws and regulations, including federal financial management system and accounting-related requirements. Reporting organizations will record their top five MICP accomplishments in this appendix. On the template, the RO will begin by listing their RO name. In this example, the reporting organization is the Assistant Secretary of the Army Financial Management and Comptroller, or ASA FMNC. Next, the RO will tie the program accomplishment to an internal control reporting category, such as reporting, operations, compliance, broad, strategy, or other. Please use the drop-down menu to complete column B. If the program accomplishment is tied to a key business process, such as civilian pay or acquired to retirement of real property, please list that process in column C. An accomplishment could apply to multiple or all processes. In the description of the issue column, 
the RO will define the facts existing in their program environment prior to the accomplishment. In this example, ASA FMNC reports an issue that prior to fiscal year 18, a risk assessment had not been executed to produce a risk profile in accordance with revised OMB Circular A123. In column E of the template, the reporting organization will indicate if the facts and situation are tied to a material weakness previously identified and reported. Because the lack of a risk assessment is not related to a previously identified material weakness, ASA FMNC can respond no. The reporting organization will report each accomplishment for the program in column F. The accomplishment is intended to be an advance or improvement made to the MCP at the RO to mature the program beyond the situation and facts identified in column D or to remediate a material weakness identified in column E. Each RO can report up to five accomplishments. For example, ASA FMNC reports the accomplishment to be that the RO executed a risk assessment in accordance with OMB Circular A123 for the first time, which produce a risk profile enabling management to make decisions for acting on high-risk areas. Lastly, if the RO has saved money because of the accomplishment, the dollar amount can be reported here. If no money was saved, this field can be marked as not applicable. This appendix will be completed and submit by each RO. Please contact the MCP team if you have questions or concerns completing this appendix. This concludes the FY19 MICP ASOA workshop. If you have any questions regarding the information provided, please contact us.